uh, interesting that uh, there's a lot of debate. We know there's a lot of sovereignty movements out there. Uh, most of the Patriot sovereignty, what's been known as the free men on the land movements, have uh, been under the belief that they could actually control this document somehow. And just remember, you don't print it, you don't own the machine that makes this, you're not the maker. Uh, you may have asked for it, and certainly I think the state is a disciplinary, torturous parent is going to give it to you every time you are going to get it. But you have to realize that this, this is not yours. You're, you're just asking for it. If it was yours, you'd already have it. You don't need to ask for something that's already yours. That's a, just a ridiculous concept. Um, certainly, uh, I understand where people are confused. I, I get that part of it because they've been deceived by people who had partial research or incomplete research. But this, this document, um, if you think you're going to take control of this, other than discard it or abandon it, that I understand, but, but saying you're gonna make this thing do what you think you want it to do because you think there's a pot of gold waiting at the end of the rainbow and the government's been making all this money. Um, let's uh, let's like pinch ourselves in reality here for a moment uh, because if that happened there'd be no workers if everybody could get a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow with one of these uh, so uh, the uh, a good act to go to that deals with this uh, certificate and go to the Canadian Ownership and Determination Act and believe it or not it even explains they have male and female certificates in that act I don't think that's coincidence, but uh, control, very important word, and uh, something that's controlled is actually owned, because if you can control it, you're, you're basically the master over it. So if you didn't make it, and it doesn't come from something you're printing in your basement yourself, it's not yours. So we're going to go to Canadian. What's a Canadian? Because I know Canada's on this, so we'll just go... It's got to be a Canadian document, and it says Canadian, an entity that is Canadian controlled. So then whoever basically says they're a Canadian is controlled by Canada. So you're not in control. But you could be in a lot of confusion, which enters you into chaos, which is confusion. When you merge truth with fiction to become part of this. So... Be very, very careful. Um, take, a, take a serious look. Take a hammer to it and uh, hit it really hard with the hammer. And if you go out, then I guess you may be that. But I don't think that that's going to be the result. So if you at all think that you're in control of something that you're not in control of, you've deceived yourself.